Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Salsa Assassin and drinking more water will not resolve your constipation. Every single day I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day I'm gonna make Okay, we're back. Today we're gonna talk about how to overthrow the Chinese government. Actually, no, wrong show. Today we're talking about uh, this particular cigar, little tiny uh, perfecto. It's called the A Fuente Green Reserva Hemingway Between the Lines. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fitting name. It's not uh, particularly like, no, you can't use that name because it's like between the lines. Are we talking about this? No. no. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm not live today because I'm somewhere in New York, uh, busy smoking a cigar <laughs> somewhere. So yeah, uh, I'm not actually not uh, on tonight because you know I'm in New York and those people who met me earlier today most likely knew that I'm not gonna be on today. Uh, so we're doing a small review on this particular cigar and just hopefully you know just kind of give you a little bit small portion of enjoyment for the night <clears throat> while we uh, talk about few stuff. Talk about few stuff. All right. So now let me cut this up and I kind of give a little background on this. Okay. Uh, this is supposedly four and a half by 54. Uh, it's very, very tiny with a little, uh, what they call it, nipple head, you know, kind of thing, foot. Uh, it's like a, like a tiny foot. It is made out of a vintage mild Dominican tobacco inside what they call the Hemingway mix uh, or blend. And outside is <coughs> particularly made out of African uh, Cameroon and American Broadleaf Connecticut. So that's how you get the you know, two things. They still consider this as uh, a Maduro, so uh, let's split it up. On the outside, it smells quite sweet. So I think this has got to be like one of those deserved cigars, which makes perfect sense if you got to have a, a, a Perfecto because you will want to have as a dessert cigar. Not something crazy, you know, just something light. Uh, and the thing about this cigar is this, uh, it's very temperamental cigar too. It sometimes is medium strength, sometimes full strength, and sometimes it's just a little bit too little strength because the blend. Something with the head like this, I usually want to light it a few more times here and there, just to get it kind of even, evened out a little bit, you know, because they don't tend to burn right. You gotta know that everything has its own uh, like level of burning, not everything burns at the same speed. So when you have multiple different blends in there, they kind of burn at different speed as well. So uh, that's something that you want to be really careful on, right? Okay. First couple draws, not much going on. It's kind of like a like a bitter mix. Okay, it's very like almost like no taste, but there is the bitter leaf taste or a leafy taste. So it should be expected. You know that you know kind of trying to burn through it. Okay, and then right away, within that uh, a smug of smoke, you kind of pick up some sweet notes. Almost like it tastes a sweetened cap but it's not there there's no sweetened cap on this one so start to get sweeter a little bit of like earthy tone but then covered by some sweet notes such, such as honey and um, a little bit of how do I describe that? Milk mixed with mocha. So it's not really mocha. It's like a, like a 
creamy mocha, but it's not creamy either. It's like kind of like a down toned mocha, almost like watered down mocha. Like, uh, if you uh, if you ever drink Ovaltine, you know what I'm talking about. It's like chocolate, but not really chocolate. Well, like Yuhu, have you drink a uh, drink called Yuhu? It's like chocolate drink, but it's not really chocolate. That kind of stuff. Yeah, it's got like those like bittersweet type of um, taste to this. Not particularly sweet. The bitter is there, but you wouldn't call that really bitter, like un unacceptable bitter. It's uh, slightly bitter, and uh, uh, but you, you can call that the, the, the bittersweet kind of thing. Not a bad cigar, just start. Uh, obviously, uh, It just started, so this not it's still developing the, that flavor. It's not punch you in the face kind of flavor though. This one does definitely don't have that. So hopefully it can develop the the uh, flavor throughout the transition of this the, the cigar itself before it ends because we kind of expect the perfecto not last too long, not go too crazy, and, and you know hopefully this will uh, develop as it goes. So with the magic of editing, we are gonna go to. Somewhere in the mid section, all right. Somewhere in the mid section, we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're about one third. I mean, if you can count that one third, I think that's one third. One third to me. So basically, as you burn more, right, closer to the, the blend itself, you get a little bit more of flavor. You get vanilla beans, uh. Uh, not the sweet kind, just straight vanilla bean. So if you uh, ever tasted vanilla ex extract, it's kind of like that. And then you get a little bit of caramel notes in there and earthiness too. Kind of, kind of mix them up a little bit with the smoke taste. I don't know if you know what smoke taste is. It's, I'm not talking about like smoke, like barbecue smoke. I'm talking about smoke smoke. Just kind of blending out, almost like creaminess, but it's got this aftertaste to it. It's not bad. It's still good. So um, you know, I'm enjoying the cigar so far. It's it's so hard, pretty good. You can see the burn. It's not bad at all. The ash stayed, um, and this part is just for Jeff. A real A Fuente looks like this. If you can't see, I'm gonna go closer. It looks like this. You know what? If you gotta get A Fuente anywhere outside of the country, I think there's a lot of fake ones out there too. Just somewhere out of the country. Uh, check the band. The band should be absolutely awesome. Yeah, no mistakes. Raised, embossed, uh, uh, letterings and, and shapes and, and, and things. Just absolutely perfect. You know, they don't, they don't give you bad stuff. They don't give you bad stuff. So, you know, make sure you get the good stuff. Make sure you check it, check it, check it. You know, uh, the quality. The, the, if, it, if it screams too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. Now this cigar particularly costs about fifteen to twenty dollar range. Okay, it depends where you buy them. You can get them cheaper. You can get just average, average fifteen to twenty dollar range. And you know, for the short smoke, it's actually not bad for a Fuente. Uh, I'm pretty sure fifteen dollar can usually get two or three cigars really. Uh, but something like that, enjoy as a dessert. Not bad at all. Continue to to smoke that. Continue to to enjoy this particular cigar at fifteen dollar. It's not bad at all. And Fuente makes, you know, relatively good cigars. I mean, they're, they're famous for that. So, you know, a lot of people will be searching for them. And if you can find them, they're worth to be collected. And then they age well. They do age well. The longer you age them, uh, this particular cigar, the, the, the more of those, like, sweeter notes will come out. But not, not sweet, though. Just sweeter notes will come out. So uh, I heavily, heavily recommend for those people who keep these, will keep in the actual humidor, not in a plastic wear, not in a, uh, um, in a acrylic humidors, not in the fridge, but in an actual humidor. That will really develop this flavor. You just want to keep this in a wooden humidor. I mean, that's, that's, that's all you need to do. Just keep it in there. Just make sure you do. It's got to be good. Trust me on that. And that's if you can find these. I mean, <clears throat> they are pricey and they, they come out in a limited quantity. Uh, uh, you know, it's one of those things that if you buy them, go ahead and just buy a whole box. Uh, it's going to help you in terms of, you can age them, 
they trade very well. So if you in any group that trades, if winter usually trades very well. Uh, so you know it's worth to collect. Worth to collect. Get a pop box of it. With that said, if there is any particular A Fuente cigar you like the most, leave it in the comment. Let me know what kind of A Fuente, which A Fuente that you like the most, like the Arturo Fuente, which one do you like the most? Leave it in the comment and let me know. Now let's go to the halfway point. Alright, so. I removed the band because now it's at the third. Uh, I already passed the halfway point. It's in like the last third, a little bit more, and it, it, it's transition. It transition uh, a little bit mid halfway to more cedary, more cedary, uh, more of uh, cocoa flavor to it, more deeper, darker coffee uh, and, and creaminess to it too. So. You know, you get that more of a sweet flavor, sweetness to it, and now it's uh, it's definitely at that point uh, a, a dessert cigar. It's really good. It's really really good. You have to work your way to the midpoint, though. You do have to do that. Uh, unfortunately, my did kind of got a little bit of uh, a glue on the leaf, so kind of let the leaf kind of just fall off. But then it continues to burn straight. That's the thing. It continued to burn straight and kind of picked up those like broken down leaf and stuff like that uh, to to you know give a different kind of uh, uh, experience by looking at the, the leaf just kind of burnt down like that. It's it's kind of cool, and uh, you know the band that says imported inside. So you know sometimes you can just check the band to realize if, if this thing is uh, authentic a fuente. Uh, at this point. It's showing all the characteristic of all the different leaves that's on it. Now, my particular thing about broad leaf, broad leaf is that they they actually give you the deeper taste. So a lot of time it gives you that heavier, uh, slightly bitter taste, and that's what those smoke taste came from. That's what I'm talking about. So if you smoke this, you'll know what I'm talking about. Just get that no taste taste. If that's that's what what is called no taste taste. So uh, overall. This cigar is really good. I'm gonna finish the last third uh, to to kind of see if anything else changes. I don't think there's not uh, anything else that's gonna change from this point on because the biggest part is uh, over. So it's kind of tapered up and back down a little bit. So it's not a super, um, you know, super crazy uh, in terms of ch transition. Transition. It just it just gets sweeter, easier. Uh, but the 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 body does um, the strength does go up a little bit. So at a halfway point, you start to feel this is more of a full cigar than not. And this is definitely not a beginner cigar, and I don't recommend any beginner to spend fifteen dollars on any cigars. You know, you sh at, at, at beginner stage, you should go with the five dollar, two dollar, uh, uh, even eight dollar cigars, and, and stop there. Try all those first, and then work your way up to to something that's more expensive that you can really enjoy picking up those uh, flavor. Because in the beginning, all you gotta taste is tobacco. Okay. I got taste, but then to, to enjoy the deeper cedar, to enjoy the, the 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 cocoa, the the cream, and all that stuff, you really had to develop your palate to to get there. So yeah, we'll continue to finish that little bit, and then we have a message to go through. But while we're at this, you know, we have our um, you know merch, merch store and all that link. It's all in the below. If you want to donate, you want to uh, you want to uh, buy merchandise, you want to support the channel. It's all below. So you know, check out below while you're at it. Uh, even though this cut will just go right to the thing in less than a second. So I see you in the last little bit. All right, so we're at the last little bit and that should be at the end of this cigar. And you know, overall, the experience of this cigar is absolutely awesome. The last little bit, a lot of cedar and sweet cedar. It's great sweet cedar. A little bit of after uh, cocoa and the nose. And, and, and really, it's just re good cigar. $15, more than well, uh, 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 show me that it's worth $15. So if you can buy this for say $15, go do it, go do it. Definitely thumbs up, recommend this cigar, it's really good cigar. Again, uh, what we had today is the A Fuente Grand Reservoir, Hemingway Between the Lines. $15 uh, and barber pole, it's good barber pole. I mean, for a short cigar, short smoking session, this is a great, great cigar. Uh, it takes about an hour, uh, 
depends how you smoke it. I usually smoke it pretty fast, so it will it will be about an hour of smoke for that. So definitely good. Definitely, you know, still burns very well at the end. Uh, it does get a little hot because the you know gets really close to to the mouth, so it kind of has really slow down at the end. But because you slow down, more of the sweetness kind of go through rather than the the bitterness of any kind. So definitely enjoy the cigar. Definitely good. I recommend the cigar. Now that you have watched all the way to the end of this video, I want to give something to reward you for finishing this video. So to win an A Fuente cigar. To win it with a Fuente Cigar, all you have to do is hit the like button and then go to our Shadow Smoker Religion group and then make a post, hashtag, I killed Hemingway. That's right, I killed Hemingway. Hashtag that. And don't respond to any question of what, they, what you're talking about. Like literally everybody's gonna ask, what is that all about? Don't tell them because they will understand if they watch this video. So don't tell them anything about that. Just do I killed Hemingway hashtag it in the in the Shadow Smokers Legion group, and then a random winner will be chosen to win uh, a, a, a Fuente cigar. That's a pretty good cigar to win, right? So after that, it's good. Everybody enjoy your weekend. Please do enjoy your uh, Easter, and I will see you guys next week. All right, be saucy. See you next time. Goodbye.